Too slow. What you beaten to? I stopped a long time ago. Sit down. Today, like I said, it's going to be different. I was just stalling a little bit while I give God glory. Now I need all my members, all my members to do something for me today. I, in fact, I need the whole church to do this. This is going to be the sermon for the day. But before we get into the sermon, come here, Shanda. I need you to do something in the building. Quickly. I need everybody, not yet. I need you to turn and face that direction, not yet. That means you don't turn around, you don't look back for nothing. Now, there was a woman in the Bible that she was told when she left Sodom not to look back. She looked back and what happened to her? So your first act of obedience today is when I give command to this whole church to turn in that direction, I want the whole church to turn in that direction and don't look back. If the child turn, don't look back. So that means if you have a child, hold your child with you because I'm going to do something today I've never done before. Hallelujah. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. So now everybody stand on your feet. Again, when I do this, nobody turn and face me. You are facing that direction. I don't care what you hear. I don't care what you feel. I want the drummer, the keyboard player, everybody off. Everybody in the building facing that direction. Turn around. Everybody in the building, that means everybody, that means Olga, that means everybody over here, everybody that watches me, that means the cameraman, everybody facing that direction. And now I need somebody to move the menorah for me. That means you too, TJ, David, that means Bishop got it today. I don't want nobody facing me. I don't want nobody facing me. The singers, look at the singers. They, the singers still leaning on the balcony. Somebody pray for them. Nobody, even though this, you can't even look at the corner of your eye. Now, everybody that's standing, this is your second act. Tell Plumber to bring what I need. Nobody, TJ, go up. Go straight up. David, go up off the green. No only on the green. Nobody facing this direction. Say nobody. nobody. If you got a P, hold your P. So nobody being slick, nobody trying to see what I'm doing in the back here. Everybody now, close your eyes. You cannot peek. Nobody's going to take your wallet. Nobody's going to take your child. You cannot peek. David and CJ, go up a little bit more. TJ, go up a little bit more. You, nobody's going to take your child. Close your eyes. You cannot peek. You can't open it under no circumstances. Under what? Preacher, what you're doing? I'm trying to help you change your life. Preacher, why you have a church doing this? Because we come to church and we hear preaching, but we don't change. Somebody say, I'm ready for a change. So today's sermon will be, close your eye. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Now, I know some of y'all regular church religious folks like to figure out what's going on. But sometimes God will do things that you can't figure out everything. That's your first lesson. Your second lesson is the just shall live by faith and not by. Or we walk by faith and not by. Hebrews 11 says, now faith is. The substance, don't, I need you to get it because those who quote it the loudest, you're going to be the first one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. What is faith? The evidence, somebody say the evidence. Nobody looking at the pulpit. I know some of y'all are so tempted to look, but keep your eye closed because you're going to learn some things today. The Lord showed me this last Sunday. The Lord said, this is what I want you to do with everyone that walks in the door. The Lord said, this is what I want you to do with your congregation. It's going to teach them and it's going to help them. God said, this is how I want you to minister to them. And this is what I want you to give 
to them because I'm trying to shift them individually to the next level. Again, Yvette, nobody peeking. Now, I know for some of y'all that's hard because y'all used to cheat in school. When the teacher trying to plan a test, y'all used to write the notes on your arms. Nobody in this church. Some of y'all used to write the notes on somebody else's arm. Some of y'all used to take a piece of paper and had a cheat sheet. Say no cheating today. Say it again. Say no cheating today. Say today will be the day. There will be no cheating in here. Say I'm ready for a change. Now all eyes should be closed. So that means even if something comes in the front door, you shouldn't even see what's coming in the door. Everybody got their eyes closed? Yeah. Nobody fall asleep, please. Say, God, God. teach me, teach me. To, walk to walk by faith. Say it again. Say, God, God. In, the Jesus, in the name of Jesus, teach me, teach me. To, walk to walk by faith. God, God. You, said you said the just, the just supposed, to live supposed to live by faith. By faith. That means... Faith is a lifestyle. If I have a lifestyle of going to work, if I have a lifestyle of being married, if I have a lifestyle of getting up, that means I should have a lifestyle by living by faith. God, in the name of Jesus, teach me to live by faith. Now here's what I need. I need all my leaders to keep their eyes closed. All my leaders to keep their eyes closed. All my leaders. I'm going to start with my leadership first. In fact, even the music team that came today, just because you all came today, I'm going to teach you all something. And I want you all to hear this music team. Motley Music came here before he was famous. So that means that God has great destiny for you all. I don't do nothing by chance. Motley Music can now be seen on BET. He's now Jennifer Lopez, one of his best singers. That means God's going to open bigger and better doors for y'all. No one comes to this church by chance. So when y'all get big time, don't forget y'all came in the jump ministry for $250. Amen. Nobody looking? Nobody looking? Nobody peeking. Nobody looking? Nobody peeking. Shanda, you shouldn't even be looking. Lord, okay, close your eye. Now, I'm going to call for all my leaders to raise their hands. All my leaders, my so-called leaders. Say, my so-called leaders. To raise your hands. I need you all to move this. Just a, close your eye. I'm going to ask everybody in here to do something. All my leaders, please raise your hands a little bit more like you all won't be seen. Now I need... Owen, go get all my leaders out of their seat. And please, even bring the men upstairs with their eyes closed. You cannot peek when they come to you. All my leaders, keep what we're about to give you and keep your eyes closed. Then I'm coming for my jumpites, my people who support me and was jumping so happy today. Who so love my Sunday services. Owen, you're going to put... This on their eyes, Owen, and then you're going to go to the leaders. You're going to put this on their eyes because we're going to make sure nobody try to see what's coming across your eye. Nobody try to see what's coming across your eye. Please bring Miss Lynn in the building who's talking watermelon. Tell her keep her eye closed. Nobody peeking. Y'all want to come to church? Welcome to Jump Ministries Global Church. Where you know, know what you're going to get. Keep your eye closed. Your leg getting tired? Lean on the chair and keep your eye closed. Leaders, uh-uh. Tisha, you ain't got to, this ain't no time to fix nothing. Because Tisha, I know you. You can try peeks with them, but God got you today. Some of y'all are extra nosy. I ain't talking about Tisha or nothing, but some of y'all are extra nosy. You got to know everything. But today, 
you will not notice. Keep your hand raised, my leaders. While your hand is raised, I want you all to bring Odis, those who are there like Mama Della, bring her to me. Oh, you're going to help them up one at a time and you're going to bring them to me. Take your time, no peeking, drop your fine, Mama Della, because you ain't finding where you're going. Drop your fan. You could, Odis, you could, you, could, you, could, you could turn around. No peeking, Mama Della. Tell him, Odin, help him. You can come downstairs. You got to tell him one step. Keep your eye closed. We ain't going to hurt you. We know you still got to sing and go on BET around the world. We ain't going to kill you. Mama Della. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of scary, isn't it, Mama Della? And nobody peeking. Nobody looking. Kind of scary, hey, Mama Della. Yes, sir. Didn't... Give me a mic. Don't know where you are. Just climbing up things and Bishop saying, Keep, you're hot beating, Mama Della? Yes, sir. You're scared? I'm nervous. Yeah, I know. That's just like faith. But Mama Della, how you feeling? Say something. I'm nervous. I can't hear this mic. Don't even cut it on. That's all right. I got my mic. Now, Mama Della, you are first. Con Please bring up the man that is standing there. ODs, help him up. Mama Della, yes, sir. walk with me just a little bit. Take your time. Take your time. Stop. You are on the edge of something. In fact, you're on the edge of the stage. Can you see, Mama Della? No, sir. Can you see? No, sir. Can you see, Della Reese? No, sir. Okay. Please, no peeking. Help him. Oh, it. Y'all want to come to church? Welcome to church. JB, are you peeking? Okay, turn back in the front, JB. JB, you do good to the side. We don't need you to the side. Stay front. Oh, my rapper got his hand on his kimbo. What these preachers and these people doing? What they bring me to? Got me blindfolded. I didn't come to no church expecting to be blindfolded. Well, that's life. Sometimes life throws you some things you don't expect. Owen, I need you to come here. Just leave, leave, leave. Bring them, bring them. Since you're so close. Bring, make sure you take your time with them. They, them boys got big futures ahead of them. Big futures. Nobody peeking. Coke off you look. You trying to keep one eye open. Okay, keep your eye closed. I wish my wife would come to church sometime today. I wish, I pray one day soon, sometime she will show up. Amen. After they don't peek, help them, help them up. This sermon will change your life today. You quoted scriptures and said as you turn that the just shall live by faith. You said we walk by faith and not by sight. You said you believe God. Now I'm taking your sight away from you. I want to see what you can do from here. You sang and rapped. You sang, I'm crazy, crazy, crazy. <laughs> Put on my push. Mama Della, yes, I'm going to ask you to do something you've never done before. Quietly as we can. Mama Della, I'm going to ask you to do something you have not done before. All I'm going to ask you to do, Della Reese, that you've never done, I want you to jump off of this stage black. Nobody looking? Yes, the preacher's saying jump. Oh, some of y'all get scared now. Y'all ain't supposed to be looking. Y'all say y'all live by faith. Mama Della, now you got two options. You don't have to jump. You could be fearful and don't know you can't touch nothing. Yeah, it should sweat because God requires us to jump and we can't see. God requires us to move and we can't see what we're moving into. God asks us to do things and we don't understand it. And then we get our human reason in the way and then some of us never move. I want you jump forward. You ain't jumping to the side. You're standing straight. Uh -uh, you don't. I ain't say feel nothing. I know you're scared. Jump. I still, huh? Now. 
Don't say a word. Are you okay? You broke your leg? Don't, don't answer. Don't answer. No peeking. Take your blindfold off, Mama Della. But you got, don't say a word. Come. Help off the ground. I think she might have broke her toe. Help off the ground. Mama Della, you sure your toe ain't bleeding? Keep your eye closed. Mama Della, you okay? You sure? What's your name? No, no, not you, Mama Della. We got your name. What's your name? Philo. Philo? No, Philo. Are you looking? Ah, he said, I'm looking, but I can't see nothing. I like Philo. Philo, don't look. I know this is your first time ever coming in this church. You're believing God for great things in your future. You're believing God for great things in your family. You're believing God for a great destiny. You're believing God to take you where you've never been before. You're believing God to shoot you to a place where the enemy cannot come. Jump. Awesome. Take it off. God will never let you fall. Keep it. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Philo. He, I don't know if Philo's still alive. <laughs> Philo may be dead and gone. This one say to die is game. No peeking. Forward. Believe God for gold and record and platinum albums. Singing your songs all over the world. But God says, move by faith. God, I don't know how I can do it. I got car payment. I got bills. God, I, there's things. God, I, my family can think I'm crazy. They can say, what you doing? You shouldn't be doing the rapping. You should have gone to college. You're so smart. You're wasting your talent singing for God. Are you crazy singing this gospel songs? But God say, jump. <laughs> he will say, take it off. Come, sir. You be it? You want to go places in God? You believe in God for miracles? Jump. Jump. <laughs> Come here, sir. Technician, you. The man that got, oh, oh he's going all over the place. Take him, take this thing off his eye. Take this thing off his eye. Your, your neck okay, Cocoa? I'm going where I've, never, where I've never thought I would be able to go in this lifetime. God will open bigger and better doors for me. But he's asking me to trust what I don't see. He's asking me to sow where I want to go. Make sure she have a blindfold on. I'm believing God to give me music and songs and, and write songs that people in the world have never heard. To put me in an arena that most Christian artists can't even go in to change for the kingdom of God. But he's saying, jump. Jump. <laughs> Stop. Good. Uh-oh. Leader of the crew, open up. -a. But what if I jump in? I ain't got nothing to sustain me. What if I jump in? I finish last. What if all my crew stopped rapping with me? And I got to start rapping by myself. What if they go secular and I got to stay gospel, but they making more money secular? But God say, jump. Don't you look? Take your time. Yeah. Now, you remember now, you could break your neck. You could break your ankle. You could break your vocal cords. You may not even have a voice to sing. I come to this church today and I got to jump. And I can't even see where I'm jumping into. This, this man got to be crazy. <laughs> Jump. <laughs> Scary, huh? Because <laughs> you <laughs> Choice Elliot, yeah. You are to the edge of your life. You've been raising kids all your life. 
I don't even know my bones operating like the way you used to operate. Now this preacher telling me, jump. Well, uh, on the count of three, Joy said. One. All or nothing, no peeking. Two, you got to jump. Three. Jump. You're supposed to jump. But you made it. Say thank you, Jesus. Don't open your eye. Pastor Elliot hit the floor. She hit the floor. Y'all sure y'all ain't scared? Yeah. Yvette, what you said, Yvette? I am scared. Yeah. Uh-huh. I got the bill. I got the bill. Because sometimes I got to teach them because sometimes faith will hurt you. Sometimes you get bruised in faith. But will that stop you from moving in faith? Go, yeah, yeah. I said jump. I didn't say walk. I said. Now you can help. I said. Now you don't know what's beneath you. Jump. 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 You're scared. You see how you needed help? That means, come here, uh -uh, stay there. A lot of times we think we walk in faith, but we don't walk in faith as much as we think we do. Because when the rubber really meets the road, we become fearful. And we don't trust God with as much heart we think we trust God with. So it's not God, it, don't clap yet. It's not God that is hindering us. It's us hindering ourselves. Because when it comes to what we say we're supposed to live by faith, but you became afraid when you could not see. So how are you supposed to be walking by faith if you can't see what he's promised you? Yvette broke her next leg. That's just food. food. Yvette, that's food for thought. Take it off, take it off. Nobody's saying a word. Yvette, you look, I mean, you look so nice. With, nobody peeking. You are learning today. Now, Ed Washington, I said to jump. I didn't say walk. Jump forward. Jump forward. Jump forward. Go. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. That's all you said. Stop. Diana. Yeah, scared, huh? Yeah, I know. I come into church, all these prayer meetings, one lead prayer meeting. I want to pray for the bishop. I got you, bishop. We can do great things in the city, bishop. God got you. One day we're going to be dead free. Jump. Do not take a step. Jump. You ain't got to now. Please hear this. Nobody has to jump if they don't want to. Come, come. A little bit more. Stop. Oh, scary, isn't it, Mother Dan? Can't see. I can't even see what I'm praying for and what I'm believing God for. God telling me to trust him and I never see this God before. How come these people around here telling me to do these things and I can't see it? I got to see it first before I believe it. That was Thomas. Thomas said, I will see it, then I will believe. Jump forward. I'm going to count to three. One. All your heart. When you jump, see God doing everything he promised you. That's it. It's okay to pray in town. Two. Three. <laughs> Tisha, Mother Diana broke her next leg. She didn't listen to the first obedience. It was to jump. Yeah, scary, isn't it? Isn't it scared? Oh, Bishop, how you telling me to jump? You step a little bit. You wanna, oh, boy? You hold. You really scared? A little bit more. Nobody peeking. Stop. On the count of three. You trust me? Don't I ain't say move. You trust me? You sure? You trust God? Mama Della got in the hospital, you know. One. I say jump. I say feel it. I say jump. One, two, three. Jump! <laughs> Your wife? I don't even hear her voice. Yeah, scary. Jamie, you look ready. 
man of faith. One. Two. Two and a half. Jump forward. Jump. Lord, I believe in you for my wife, my daughter. I believe in you for more money. I believe in you to do great things. I want to preach. One. Can you see? Are you peeking? Are you scared? <laughs> Give me a mic. Are you scared? You know, some of y'all, what I find so interesting, isn't it amazing? Are you afraid? A little bit. Speak the truth. Are you afraid? A little bit, yes, sir. Kind of scary, huh? Yes, sir. Not to know what you're jumping into. Yes, sir. To trust God when you can't see him. Yes, sir. To believe him when you can't see him. Yes, sir. To believe my family can be saved when it's acting up. Yes, sir. To believe my money can be straight when my bills, I can't pay my bill. Yes, sir. One, on the count of three, jump. Two. Wait a minute. Three, jump. <laughs> Celine Cannon. No peeking. Attorney, lawyer, stop. Oh, you on the edge, mother. You feel the edge? Do you feel anything under your feet? Stop. Do you feel anything under your feet? No. Scarier. Let go of my hand. Let go of my hand. Put your foot back on the edge. Stop. I, now I'm telling you. No, you can't touch me. Forward. You are, uh -uh, stop. On the count of three, you are jumping. You're looking at me though, but yeah, put your head forward. You can't touch me. One, three. You gotta jump. Two, jump. <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Scary. <laughs> Nobody look it. This is your sermon for today. Y'all won't preach it? Here you go. Can you see, Monica? Can you see? Can you see the husband God promised you? Can you see the husband God promised you? Can you see financial freedom? Yes, sir. So why are you so afraid? Why do you look back and get discouraged? And they're just supposed to live by faith. On the count of three. One. I didn't say walk. I say stop. And then you can jump. You can wait for my three. Then you can jump. Two. Three, jump! Yeah. yeah. I thought you was a great intercessor. What you scared of? I thought you were chasing all them demons and you'd be in all the prayer meetings. You'd be here lighting the candles. Now you're scared because you can't see, but that's how they're just supposed to live. Stop. You're on the edge. Move. A little bit more. Move again. Move again. Put your toe over. Can you feel anything under your toe? Stop right there. Can you feel anything? No. On the count of three. One. You got to jump. One. You trust him the way you say you trust him? Two. Nobody looking. Three. Jump. Nobody peeking. I can feel some of y'all in here trying to open your eye. You trust him for your husband? So why you get so discouraged? You trust him for your money? Why you get so discouraged? You trust him for your future? Okay. Uh uh, I tell you jump. Move. Uh uh, uh, uh. move a little bit more. Or uh, more. You feel anything under your feet? Do you feel anything under your toe? What do you feel? A little air. <laughs> On the count of three, don't you move. One. God, I believe you. I trust you for my family. I trust you for my children. I trust you for everything you promised me. One, two, three. Jump! Scared. Let's. Nobody looking. Come, I got you. Scared. Honey, I want you to see this. I want you to see this. You got to come. Move the baby. Come quickly. You got to because this is a life lesson. This is a life lesson. You got to watch. You got to witness this. This is not the day. Come, walk. See, let me tell you. Are y'all see him who's walking? That is a life lesson. We have to see where we walk. That ain't, that ain't how we say we must live. 
He said the just must live by faith, meaning we can't see. Well, listen, there's only one person in the corner hear me. It's okay, Curtis. Half of the room's scared. Most of the room's scared. Them singers was terrified. But trust me, when they ain't here, the first person say, ah! Stop. Take another one step. Just another little step. Uh -uh. Stay. My whole life, God, I believe you for my own business. You are jumping forward. You're not taking another step. You, it's, I know scary, Curtis. I know. God, I have to trust you in my family, my future, my finances, my destiny. God, I don't know if I could do this. What if I don't make it? What if I fail? What if, what if I, I fail? What if my father failed? I saw some people fail. What if I fail? What if I hurt myself when I jump? One, you are jumping. You don't have to, again, you do not have to jump if you don't want to. Two, again, you can count the cost. I ain't jumping for no black man. I don't know who this black man is up here today. We're talking about jump. He goes someplace else with that jumping. I cool with that. One, again, you don't have to jump. Two, you are jumping, you're not walking. Walking will hurt you. God says jump. He said leap. One, two, three, jump. Good. Come to God. I love it. One, you don't know what's that, Curtis? You could fall on your head, brother. Two, Jesus, I trust you. Jump. three, David. I got to trust him with my future. Eyes closed. Y'all be ready. I got to trust him in my life. One. Some of our faith is not as strong as we thought it was. Two. I got to trust you with my family, my future. I got to trust you with the people around me, my children. You're not walking, you are jumping. Jump. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, take your time. Can you see? No. Are you peeking? No. Are you peeking? No. Are you sure? I'm positive. Okay, take your time. Take your time. Come. Step again. A little bit. A little bit. Huh? Okay. Oh, no. Yeah. Because that was scary, huh? You felt anything? Okay. What you felt? <laughs> the edge living on the edge on the count of three you're not going to walk you're going to jump what's our name jump. what's our name jump one again you ain't got to jump if you don't want to Yvette broke her neck two Yvette was like oh my god three jump One. Again, yeah. I can't see it, God. How how, how this marriage gonna work? This man, all these problems, these people. Jesus. Not Jesus. Money problems, two. All I see is the negative. All I see is the wrong. And you telling me to trust you? How could I trust you when everything opposite is to what I believe and what I've been praying for? I stop right here. Jump. Two. If I get the three and you ain't jump, we got to make way because other people got to jump. Three. God will never let us fall if we trust him. Scary, isn't it? How you feeling? A little nervous. A little? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Take a step. Baby, you, you on the edge. Take another step. Uh, ooh, one more step. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You feel anything under your toe, just move your toe forward just a little bit. Stay static. That's how you 
on the count of three. One. You believe him for your family? Don't, I ain't say jump yet. You believe him for your future? You believe in for a paid off marriage, a husband that would love you and cause you to forget all the pain of your youth? All the rejection? One, keep your eye closed. You are jumping, you're not walking. Two, jump, jump! Oh God, oh God, oh, just you and the Lord. Say that again. I said it's just me and the Lord. Oh, God. Yes, sir. Take your time. Walk just a little bit. Little baby steps. Come. Baby steps. Baby steps. Baby step. Baby step. Baby step. Take. Stop right there. Mm-hmm. You're on the edge. Okay. How'd it feel? Well. <laughs> Put your next leg even with the other. This one? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Where you are? Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, don't let go of my hand. Let go of my hand. Okay, let go of your hand. On the count of three. Okay, wait. You are jumping forward. <laughs> no, it's okay. Don't worry. It don't matter? Stay right okay. there. You are jumping from this point. From this point. You are jumping. Okay. One. Hold on, wait. I got a question. Is my husband down there? (laughs) Everything you believe in God for is down there. Two. You got to jump. Three. Move your foot a little bit more. Oh, yeah, right there. Yeah, yeah it's scary, isn't it? Yes, sir. Yeah, scary, isn't it? Yes, sir. Hold it. How do you feel? A little nervous. A little nervous? Yes, sir. I want you to jump standing up. So when you jump, you're not jumping, you're not diving. You're jumping to stand. You are required to do something different. When you jump, you ain't going to jump forward. You're going to jump like you're jumping to stand. So you're going to leap. Yes. Yeah. Forward. One. You know, got nervous, huh? Got a little tougher. Two. Yeah. I'm jumping. Like, like, like. Stop trying to figure things out. Just jump. Two. Jump! Y'all please, as y'all take these up, put these on people who are standing out there. Take a little step forward. Start up. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, you see you squeeze my hand. You squeeze a little tighter then. What about when you ain't got nobody to hold on to? What about when you can't see nothing or trust nothing? All you have to see is the dark and you got to believe that God is with you. You are jumping and taking the biggest leap of your life. The biggest leap of your life. No daddy around, no mommy around, nobody to catch you or hold you. Having to raise your family, your brother by yourself. Having to do it by yourself. Start school early. Raise yourself. How do I trust love when I've never been loved? How do I trust somebody to love me when I've been hurt all my life? One. If I count to you, again, you ain't got to jump. Again, you don't have to jump. How does it feel? How do you feel? Uh, anxious. Yeah. Two. You are jumping. You're not walking. You're jumping. Jump! <laughs> Good girl. You going deep. Wait, wait, wait. wait. wait you're God, you're going too fast, God. It's too much happening at one time. Wait, God, can I take my time to this junction? I ain't sure. Wait, God. Wait, you're going too fast. That's what we tell God when it's getting too heavy. When things are moving too quickly, we tell God to wait when he's trying to move us forward. Three, one. You got to jump. You're not walking. You're not trying to feel it. You can't feel faith. Faith is not tangible. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. One, you're jumping. I'm trusting you, God, for my husband to be beside me in ministry full time. Any questions? So I jump on three? Yes. <laughs> but you don't have to jump because okay. you don't know what you're landing on. You don't even know if you'll land. You don't even know if somebody will catch you. Two. Three. <laughs> Keep
Keep your eye closed. Keep your eye closed. Scary. Scary Todd. Stop. Scary Todd. Hands in the ear, Todd. God, I got to jump when I am sure. I got to trust you when other people around are failing. I got to trust you when I can't see clearly. I got to trust you, God, when everything around me looks chaotic. I got to trust my bishop when I feel like doing something else. I got to trust that he won't let me fall, the God in him. One. Two. Todd. Nah, not yet. You got to wait till I say three. Can you see? Can you see? Todd, can you see? Jump, jump, jump. <laughs> so, oh, oh, fellow. I'm on the edge. You are jumping. What you doing? Jumping. Can you see? No. Can you, are you peeking? No. From where you are, oh, fellow, you need to jump. If you don't jump, you could hurt yourself. From where you are, you need to jump. A full leap, like a spring. How do you feel? Expectation. Oh, I like that. Can God do it? Yes, he can. Do you believe that God will sustain you? Yes, he will. Walk slowly, 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 yeah, slowly, slowly, slowly. Slowly, a little bit more. Walk. Uh -uh. Walk again. Do your toe to the bottom like you're pointing your toe down. Point your toe down. What do you feel? Nothing. nothing? How God wants us to step out on nothing and expect for us to land on something. How does God expect for us to step out on nothing and land on something? One. Melissa, stand. Uh oh. Don't jump yet. Hold his hand. Husband and wife, we got to jump together. Oh, God, I thought he got to do this for himself. One, you are jumping. Two, jump. Can you feel anything, Miss Jeanette? I'm sorry? Can you feel anything? Uh, I still want to come to the bottom of my feet, but it's the front one, right? How does it feel? Uh, it feels sturdy. Okay. How do you feel? I believe that God won't let me fail, and he won't let you let me fail. Uh -oh. Because you will be taking care of me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I will, I will be taking care of you. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on. Close your eye. Keep moving. Okay. Keep, your, keep moving. Okay. Stop. Move again. A little bit. Do you feel anything under your toe? Do your toe down? Yes, I feel That's air you feel. That's the air and the edge. One. You are jumping. You are jumping. You're not stepping, you're jumping. Past death, past hurt, past disappointments. You are jumping. Jump! Jump! Yeah. Yeah, cameraman, TV man. Move. Live, live it. <laughs> How does it feel? I'm um, actually curious, excited, anxious, nervous. <laughs> okay. Take the biggest jump you ever jump. One, two, can't see it. Three, jump! I got to believe God for my family. I got to believe God to break generational curses. Stop. Move the next leg. One. No peeking. You're taking the biggest jump of your life. Two. Three. Jump! <laughs> Nobody looking, turning around. We coming for you. Oh, hello, oh, Bishop, I can do all the jump. Oh, Catherine. Yeah, Bishop, 
You come. You ain't got to jump if you don't want to again. Sometimes we live fair rulers for the rest of our lives. Come, Catherine, come with me. Move a little bit more. Face forward. You're moving forward. You, you do, not to the side. You turn it forward. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Do your toes. Do your little toes to the bottom. You feel anything on the end? Oh, that ain't nothing there. You see them toes? They ain't nothing. On the count of three. You, again, you do not have to jump. Don't look. Don't peek. Two. Please, if the kids are beside you, keep quiet. God's house is still going on. Please reverence the house of the Lord. Two. On the count of three. One. You are jumping. You're not walking. You're not trying to feel, Catherine. Two. I could break every fear the devil tried to keep me under. I could break every lie. You've, are you walking? Jump. It's okay. I'm going to count to three. If you're not jumping, we're going to make way. Nobody going to make fun of you because we've been afraid many times we move when God tells us to move. Two. Jump. I know you do. It's okay. Keep going. That's a lot of us, Catherine. Somebody didn't jump because they couldn't see. Somebody didn't jump because they couldn't see. I come to this church to die. Me and Bishop, I can come to this church and bust my head and I got to go to the hospital. I thought I was going to be a doctor. One. Move a little bit more to the edge. Ooh, scary, huh? How do I trust what I don't see? How do I believe when everything around me looks absolutely wrong? One. Two. You're jumping. You're not walking. You're in trying to feel. Three. Jump! Oh, you ain't got Messiah beside you now. You ain't got Amanda nor the kids. I ain't got nobody I could have to hide behind. I ain't got nobody but me and God. Family, oh, oh, you're on the edge. All the times I was criticized. All the times they tell me I wouldn't make it what I would be, I would fail. Now I'm giving my life to God, not a church, to Christ. And I have to believe him for the rest of my life. And I can't see how God can do it. It's okay to cry, baby. I cry all the time. I cry all the time. One. Play, sir. Two. You're jumping. You're not walking. It's okay to cry. Three. Jump! Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. It's okay to cry. You got it. You got it when others can. Help her down. I don't know where I can land. Drum, I hope you're in peaking. I'm watching you, Batman. I hope you're in peaking. Bishop, you're asking me to do what I've never done before. Bishop, you're asking me to go where I've never been before. You're asking me to trust God with my money, and my money is all I got. I got to barely pay my bills, and I got to sow into ministry and sow into this church. You and your wife, y'all look all right. I got to trust God when I can barely take care of my own family. I ain't trust. I ain't giving nobody nothing because nobody gives me nothing. One. Two. You are jumping. Three. Jump. Buddy, yet, buddy, yet. save them. Come. I want your husband. Bring your husband. He yeah, it's okay to be scared. Yeah, it's okay. But I ain't gonna let him hold your hand. I can let you jump by yourself. Because in this season of your life, you gotta learn to walk through some things by yourself. One more step. I hope your sister is here because she gotta do this too. One more step. Uh, what do you feel under your toes? Do that again. What do you feel? Stop. What do you feel? Nothing. That's the edge. One. Can he do everything he promised me? Can he fulfill all my dreams and all the visions, every word that I got from the Lord? Should I believe God with everything or should I hold back? Should I trust God with my life or with only a portion? One. You can't see. Scary. How do you feel? Nervous. <laughs> no, I'm just my foot. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's gone today. One. Nobody peeking. Two. 
You're jumping. You're not feeling. You're jumping. Three. Jump. Yo, take her to the hospital. Take her to the hospital. I think she heard a foot. She jumped too hard. My wife break her foot. I got to jump. Bishop, I can't see. What if I don't make it? I haven't been to churches and tried this church thing. How would I know this ain't going to be one of them other churches that hurt me and my wife? I grew up, my mama is a pastor, all your pastors just alike. I'm not asking you to trust the pastor the Lord says. I'm telling you to trust me. One, I want you to jump standing up like Devin. Straight up, not walk. He just swallowed. He's thinking about it. Three, jump! quiet one the one I don't know but these churches I, I, I think I like him I ain't sure I think I like you oh. take, take another oh. take another oh yeah she's shaking stop oh yeah what you felt nope you nervous three one trusting God is not easy trusting him with our family things that we love is one of the hardest things we could do one you're not walking, you are jumping. You are jumping. Three, jump! <laughs> She'll fall out, y'all catch her. She'll fall out. Can God help me to be the woman he wants me to be? <coughs> oh yeah, ain't nothing there, Miss Marlin. Yeah, yeah, you keep feeling, ain't nothing there. You are jumping. One, yeah, you put your hand forward, ain't nothing there. God, you gotta trust me all the way. You got to trust me when you can't see me. You got to trust me when you can't feel me. You got to trust me when the money is not right. You got to trust me when you don't know what you're going to eat. You got to trust me when you don't have detergent, when you have soap to bathe. You got to trust me when you have laundry detergent. You got to trust me. What? You're jumping. You're not walking. You're jumping. From this point, you jump. Two. Three. Jump. How do I trust you with my kids? How do I trust you with what I can't see? Don't peek. Move again. What do you feel under your feet? Your toes. You on the edge. You don't have to jump. You don't have to though. You can't see. One! You're not walking. You are jumping from this point. How do you feel? My hands are sweating, my stomach is a knot, and I don't like this. <laughs> Nothing about faith we like. It's the truth. I appreciate that, Natalie. Two. On the corner three, you're not feeling. You're, tr you're totally trusting him. Three. Jump! Stop. I won't be you, Pastor. Take a step. Oh, you on the edge. Take another step. Oh! Take it. You, if you don't jump, you're going to hurt yourself. If you don't jump, you're going to hurt yourself. And then you can blame people. You're going to want to sue for things you didn't want to do right. Because you didn't want to obey God. Plenty of people go into hell because they didn't want to obey God. They wanted to do it their way. Will you be one of those or will you trust God? You can jump. One. You're jumping. You are jumping, Vernicia. You're jumping the greatest leap of your life. Nothing is in front of you. If you better hear me, you can fall on your head. Two. If I don't teach y'all now, nothing will teach y'all. Three. You're jumping. Jump. Look at what you just crossed.
You got to trust him with everything. You, you jumping, standing up. Can God do what he promised? Can he do what he say? One, you are jumping. Two, y'all get ready. Three, jump! I want record label. Yes, that's it, Wayne. That's it, Wayne. That's it. That's the anointing boy. That's the anointing boy. That's the anointing. You know what that, you know what that meant to you. Let the rest of them figure it out while they drive home and they sleep. Let the rest of them figure it out five and ten years from now when they're faced with their other darkness and they think that God has left them. They will remember this day. Take a, take, take a step. Take a step. Take, move it. You want to jump for your life or you will land on your head. I'm not making that up. I am not making that up. You have to jump for your life. Or you want to land on your head. So he's telling me to jump. This has to be the biggest leap of my life. Two. Three. Jump! college I'm unsure I've had to do most things most of my life and raise myself my daddy was in there I ain't sure about all the things I've learned I don't know if I could make it I'm becoming a teenager now I don't know I don't I'm unsure about my future will I graduate school will I fail will I do this can God keep me I don't know Bishop I don't know where's the money gonna come from I don't I'm not gonna have a jump in school oh she peeking she peeking she peeking she can't peek if she peeks, she gotta go back to her seat. I can't, I can't play this today. You gotta ask her that she keep her eyes closed. I can't play this game. I gotta, I gotta change people's lives. One. Two. You're jumping. You're not walking. You're not trying to understand. Three. Jump! Scary, huh? Scary, huh? You know what? Everybody that's standing facing the window, listen. Everybody who already jumped. Isn't it interesting that people have jumped and we know they've made it like Bible school people in the Bible and we're still afraid to trust him? On the count of three. One. Yeah, you're jumping right from there. You're jumping. You're not trying to feel. You're trying to jump. Two. You're jumping forward. The biggest jump you ever jump in your life. Three. Jump! Bishop, but I'm so comfortable behind the violin. It's what I'm used to. I'm the violinist. I can't come out of my box. I can't come out of what I don't see. All this speaking in tongues and prophesying and laying hands and being an evangelist. No, I'm the violinist. But God said, going into the area you've never been before. Trust what you can't see. Take the biggest leap. You got to jump. And trust what you can't see. Two, you gotta jump. You're jumping forward. Wait till I hit three. Three, jump! Let go of him. This is gonna be the first time you do this for yourself. There's some things we gotta do alone. Husband can't protect, no man can protect us. Every man in the room, close your eye. Every man in the room, close your eye. This is a woman thing. The women surround this. Every man in the room, close your eyes. Move to the edge. Ah, oh, you to the edge. Every man in the room, close your eyes. You are going to jump. A big jump. Now, you know you athletic, so don't come up here trying to play nothing. We ain't got no money to give you, so don't try no lawsuit. Jump. One. Two. Jump. Jump, girl. Jump. You made it. Barely made it, but thank God you did. scary isn't it oh you ain't scared why you ain't scared uh, you got faith are you peeking I want you to take the biggest leap you ever did Mr. Faith so that means after the day you ain't gonna miss another service that means after the day you ain't gonna be late ever again that means after the day all your tithes and offerings will be paid to the church God first before you pay any bill because you'll understand that God takes care of you, not your job. One. 
the biggest leap of your life. Two. Jump! Oh, elder, oh, go get them. My business, my children, my wife. Oh, sorry, but hello, you're on the edge. Oh. My heart, my body. On the count of three, you're jumping. You're not feeling. Do your toe down. Do your toe like you're going down. Uh -uh. Move it to the edge. Feel out. Point down. You feel anything on your feet? Nothing. So you got to jump. One. Mother O ain't jumping with you. Mother O ain't praying. You pray. Two. You are jumping. You are jumping, young man. One. Two. Three. Jump. scary isn't it you're on the edge God I gotta trust you for what I don't feel like trusting you I gotta believe when I can't see when everything is pointing opposite God when I want to run I gotta trust you yeah it's okay to cry baby it's okay to cry it's okay to cry yeah on the go you gotta jump Shandy he's, uh, he's asking you today to, how much do you trust him one with everything that's in you with everything you have left. Two. Three. Jump. Jump. Hold your wife. That's it. That's it, boy. Oh. Yeah, that's it. That's it, King Shannon. That's it. That's God. Don't, I don't move it. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Don't touch her. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. Don't touch her. Yeah, he's doing things. He's doing things. Let him do it. Don't touch her. They will cause she la da 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 moha. Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Some of you that didn't even make it, God's gonna deal with. Some of you that did not make it, God's gonna show you that your faith. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're trying to feel roots, you can't feel and think, baby. One more step, a little bit, just a little bit, just a one little. Ah, you're on the edge. Yeah. Take a deep breath. Sometimes it takes everything in us to, it's okay, baby. It's okay. But Lord, I can't see you. It's okay, Ruth. I know. I feel that. Nobody in the room feels it, but I do. I feel that. I feel that. I feel the late night. I feel the pain. I feel like how much more can I take? I know, I know, I know. On the count of three. One. You have to jump. You got to jump forward. Nobody else in this building but you and God. One. Two. Jump. Jump. I know you're rules. I know it's scary. It's okay, baby. I know. I know. It's okay. I know. It's okay. It's okay, Ruth. It's okay. I know. 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 It's okay. It's okay. He's breaking things. I know. I know. I know. Uh, hold on, Mama Della. Hold on like you want somebody to hold you. I know. I know, baby. I know. I know. I know. Oh, scary. My mother is Jehovah Witness and I got to come to church. I have no family supporting me. People ask me to give what I don't have. I don't feel like a model. People tell complimenting me half the time. I don't feel good about myself. One. Two. You are jumping forward. You ain't trying to feel it. Leap. Go. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. 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 Jumping, prayer warrior. You're a jumping soldier. You're not walking, you're not trying to feel. You're jumping. Jump! God got you, Miss Victoria. God. How do you feel, Toya? How do you feel? 
How we feel? Terrified. Say it again. I'm terrified. Say it strong. Say it again. I'm terrified. Why? Be honest. I don't know how hard to jump or how far to go. I just, I just don't like it. Isn't that just like fake? It's okay. You're being honest. You're taking the leap of your life. A mother that got married young with two kids. I didn't expect these kids so soon. Lift your hands. I should have finished school. I didn't know this would be so hard. Both hands, both hands. And God is asking so much of me. I come to church and then I got to do children's church. I got to do so much. I didn't know it would be all of this. I'm jumping. One. You're jumping. I know it's okay to be scared. You don't have to jump. You don't have to jump. You don't have to jump. But God is saying jump, Toya. It's okay. Three. Jump. 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 okay hold her somebody hold her plumber hold her plumber hold her let him hold his wife it's okay plumber God's healing her he's healing her just trust me it's okay let her back go hold her plumber hold her hold her you gotta get rid of that fear plumber it's so much fear that's why God put you together so you could build a faith uh, bishop I had so much disappointment so much debts go to the doctor I think I'm healing and I find more stuff and then I got to go back and every time I got to be the support for my family people always calling on me but who call who, who I got to call one I want God to save my children two uh -uh, you're not feeling you're jumping you don't have to jump mother oh maybe you get to age in life you ain't got to jump no more Maybe there's a time where you just don't have to trust God no more. Why do you have to get old and continue to trust Him? One. Two. Jump. Jump. No, you're moving. Jump. I said jump. That's okay, Mother O. Let it go. Let God's healing up. 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 Just trust me. God's healing up. Help her, help her, help her. God's healing her. It's okay to cry, just hold her. God's healing her. God's healing her. Oh, you thought you was going to escape it. Keep your eye closed. I don't know who put this blindfold with you, but you're clear. They should take your glasses off. One. I got to step in what I don't see. I don't even know all this Christianity thing. I've come through so much. Y'all don't even know my story in this church. If y'all knew my story and where I came from. I'm scared. I, so many people fail me. How I know I won't get hurt again. How I know this won't be another place I get hurt again. How I know this won't be another time. And now they tell him God is telling me to trust him. Coming to church is cool. Hearing a good sermon is cool. Giving my little $10 or $20 is cool. But I don't know if I could trust God with everything. One, you're jumping. You don't have to jump. You don't have to jump. Two, you don't have to jump. Three, jump! Let go today. Yes, that's right, baby. That's it, girl. That's it. That's God. They ain't got to understand it. You know what you feel. Don't worry about your clothes. Just get a cloth and cover her. She gonna be all right. Let her get what God's trying to get to her. I have no family here. You got to jump. You can't feel this. If you feel, you're going to hurt yourself. You have to jump. I'm going to let you go. But you don't jump until I say three. One. What are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? Failing. What are you afraid of? Failing. What are you afraid of? Failing. She said failure. One. Two. You're jumping. Three. Jump. Take her. Take her. Take her. Take her. You're scared. You're scared. 
What you afraid of? You on the edge? Don't move. One. Two. You are jumping. Two. You are jumping. You're not feeling. Will I trust in my family? Will I trust in my destiny? Jump. Don't feel it. Jump. I come to all the prayer meetings. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. Yeah, it's scary. Uh uh. I come to this church. I don't know what it is to be in church. I don't be in every prayer meeting. I don't have my mother die. I don't have so much hurts and pain. I don't know how much more I could take. You are jumping, Bernie. All or nothing. Wait till I reach three. One. You are jumping. Two. That means jumping means lift your leg. Jumping means jump in the air. Three. Jump. Yeah, scary. It ain't about being cute no more. I could say Bishop Church was good, but now I got to participate and trust in him. I could let the preacher do it all and his wife do it all. I could watch the steppers dance and I could watch them. And I could come and it's cute, but it ain't cute no more when it's blind. When my bills got to be paid, when the doctor tell me there's something in my body. When I lose my money. When I get a bad report that death just struck someone close to me. I can't see. One. You're jumping. Two. Three. Jump! Oh. Yeah, scary. It's okay to be scared. It's okay to be... It's okay to cry. It's okay to cry. God's healing her. Stay with her. Stay with her. God's healing her. Stay with her. Stay with her. Stay with her. Stay with her. You're jumping. I done been in a hospital where they didn't know what was wrong with my blood. It's okay to cry. It hasn't been easy. Do I really trust God with everything? Because if I trust God with everything, why have I been taking it so personal? That means my life belongs to him. My children belong to him. My husband and my future. Everything that I am belongs to him. You are jumping. One. Two. Jump. Jump. Scary, huh? Scary, huh? I, I got you. I only got you a little bit, though. From here, you got to jump. Oh, oh, you're right on the edge. Come on. No, no, you stay right there. No, don't back up yet. Keep your eye closed. You got to jump. You want sons to come. You want husband to come. You want God to do miracles. Oh, what you want God to do? One. Keep your eye closed. Don't peek. Two. Jump! Whatever direction we jump, God got us. One. Two. Men. Bishop, I can't see everything. I don't understand why God requires so much of me. Why is it so difficult sometimes? What about when I got to stand alone? One. You're on the edge. Two. You jumping high. You jumping standing up. Three. Jump. I know you just started coming to church. And you're trying to learn this thing called faith. But if y'all in this church know my story, y'all would wonder. Y'all would understand why I don't trust people. Because I've been hurt most of my life. 
People, everybody I let in, take advantage of me. Bishop, I love and people hurt my love. The people who are supposed to be closest to me are the ones who hurt me the most. Yeah, I know. I know. You think I don't know. There's a prophet in the house. But on the count of three, you got to say, God, I'm going to try. You ain't got to jump. Please, no one that didn't come to you, you don't have to jump. Two! You must jump. If you don't jump, you're going to hurt yourself. If you came here for wrong people, you're going to hurt yourself. If you came here with wrong intentions, you're going to hurt yourself. But if you trust God, he will protect you. One, you got to jump. Only if you want to, God will never make us jump. Two. Three. Jump. Scary, huh? How you feel? trust God okay one this got to be the biggest leap of your life you got to leap two jump Quinn jump oh you ain't got him to hold on to you ain't got him to hold on to because what if he let you down what if he let you down and disappoint you then it's okay to cry what if he fails you and disappoints you? Will I believe that God's not real? Stay right there, stay right there. Stop. I've been to churches. I've been around people. I've been through some changes. But now I gotta jump and trust God with what I can't see. On the count of three. One, this is the biggest leap of your life. Two. Three, jump. Lady, all men, close your eyes. Ladies around. All men, close your eyes. Turn your back. Ladies around. I don't understand all this Christianity thing. I know God, but I've never really had a deep, deep relationship with God. But now, I understand that if I trust God, I got to trust him wholeheartedly. God doesn't want me to trust him 99. God doesn't want me to trust him 98. God wants me to give him 100. Because 99 won't do. On the count of three. One. You jump in. Two. Three. Jump. Jump. Good girl. You did good. Watch her. Watch her. Watch her. Keep her covered. She's doing good. You did good, young lady. You got, you got potential to be great in God. Because even though you were afraid, you still trusted him. And that's all that God's looking for, just a heart to trust. My daddy wants so much and believing for so much. I ain't doing what most teenagers doing. I could feel they're doing all kind of things. But I'm trying to do the right thing and nobody even asks me what my own struggle is. All I'm getting told is what to do, but nobody really understands what my struggles are. What it is to be my age and, 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 and have the, to trust God. I want to be young and enjoy myself. One. God said, I call you young because you're strong. Two. You're jumping. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. Three. Jump. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Bishop, you don't understand. You don't understand my pain, Bishop. I know. I know. I know, I know. It's okay to be afraid, Miss Barbara. But I didn't come to church to play church. I came because I want God. Nobody turn it around. I need you, Miss Barbara. The kingdom of God needs you to jump. One. Two. Jump. I got you. I got you. Scared. It's okay, Miss Barbara. It's okay. It's okay. God's healing up. God's healing up. So many things more than y'all will know. Yeah, it's scary. Hey, la 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 vocals. It's okay. It's okay. Help her. Help her. Help her. Help her. Oh, we got big boy. Even big boy got a trust. Bring him. Put him in the back. Help her. Help her. Help her. Help her. 
Y'all help her down. Help her down slowly. Hi. Y'all help her. Help her. Help her. Slowly. It ain't got to be fast. Help her down slowly. 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 Just take your time. Take your time. Take your time. What about when nobody else is there? When my husband, he ain't praying and when I don't understand, I let go now. Don't walk. Yeah, they know it's scary. What about I can't cut my mom and my daddy? I don't disappoint so many people and I don't want to disappoint nobody else again. Sometimes I don't know if I want to make it because I don't know who to tell who what I really feel and what I'm really going through. But God, you're asking me to trust you with everything. One, you got to jump. It's okay, Mama Della, stay with her. Two. Jump! It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, baby, it's okay to cry. I know, I know. My daughter, my family. People that hurt me, relationships. It's okay. Help her, help her, stay with her, stay with her. On the count of three, you got to jump, lady. You have to jump. You can't walk this out. You got to jump it out. One, two, jump. Can God deliver me completely? Can God make me the woman he wants me to be? On the count of three. I want you to jump, not walk it. Trust God with everything. One, two, three. Uh-uh, you walk. Jump! <laughs> Scary, Amanda. Am I doing this for my mommy and daddy? Am I doing this for people around me? Do I really want God? Can God really deliver me and heal me and make me what he wants me to be? One. Two. Jump. Jump. It's okay, baby. It's okay. It's okay. I didn't leave New York. I didn't come here. I was supposed to be singing and making albums a long time ago. What if I fail again? What if I don't make it this time? What if I keep messing up, Bishop? I'm scared of my own self. I'm scared, Bishop. But God is saying this time, give me all. All. Uh-uh. One. You got to jump. Two. Jump! You ain't got two if you don't want to. One. All or, all or nothing. If I come to three and you don't move, we got to make way. Two. Jump. Sierra, all the disappointment. Everybody I trust break my heart. God wants me to trust him with everything. I'm coming to prayer, but do I really believe my prayer is going to work? One. Do I really believe that God will answer my prayer? Two. Do I really believe that God can make me the woman he wants me to be with all my struggles? Three. Jump. What I can do when I ain't got no help? Bishop, you know how long I had to fight for myself? All my life I've been fighting. One. You got to take the leap of your life. You are jumping. You're not walking. You are jumping. Two. Jump. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. Scary. Scary, isn't it? Scary, Bishop. There's so many things I want God to do and it hasn't happened. So many things I've seen and been through. You are jumping, woman of God. All the men, turn around. All the men, it's women time. One, you're jumping, you're not feeling. You are trusting him with all that is within you, with every family member, with every aunt, with every uncle, with your destiny. Two, jump, 
Jump. Oh, good. Did you come Friday night? Oh, first now you say no stop, stop. I don't know about all this Christianity thing. It's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. God let slowly. God's touching up. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it. Let God do it slowly, slowly, slowly. I don't know about all this church thing. How do I trust a God that I haven't seen? How do I trust a God that I have not seen? How can I live for him? My heart is beating too. Close your eyes. Don't peek. You're taking a leap of faith. God will never let you fall. Slowly, 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 slowly. She good, she good, slowly. I want you to jump standing up. Don't peek. Don't try to look through them blind shades. One. Two. Jump. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. One. Wait till I reach you three. I know it's nervous. God will never let you down. Your life will never be the same either. From that little jump, you watch. I know. Where's my wife? She's sitting there. Honey, sit there, please. I'm trying to teach you some things, honey. Because I ain't going to always be here. And one day you may have to run to church. There was a reason why your husband told you to sit there. I know. Scary, isn't it? How you feel? <laughs> How you feel? Uneasy. Uneasy? Yeah. This Christianity, this church thing. One, you got to jump. Oh, man, you got to jump. You ain't feeling. Uh-uh. You're trying to feel. God wants you to jump. You don't have to, though. Forward. You don't have to. Nobody mad at you. Two. Jump. Three. How you feel, Garnell? I'm nervous. How you feel? <laughs> nervous. You nervous? Why? I've never done this before. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just you never done this before? What is God trying to teach you? Uh, every, I don't know. Papa. <laughs> what is God trying to teach you? Obedience. And what else? Faith. Jump. The biggest jump you ever take. One. Jump, Garnell. Jump. Can you trust him with your future? Church is not out here. Can you trust him with your destiny? One. The biggest leap of your life. Can you trust him with your husband? Can you trust him with disappointments? Jump. How old are you? 13. How old are you? 13. 13. Today is the 13th. Can God give you everything you desire? Yes, sir. Can God fix anything? Yes, sir. Can God do anything? Yes, sir. On the count of three, I want you to take the biggest leap of your life. You don't have to jump either. Are you looking? Are you peeking? Are you sure? Are you peeking? Keep your eye closed. Are you peeking? One. Two. Three. Jump! have to jump. You have to jump. One, on your feet. A big jump. Two, she said, on my feet. <laughs> yes, on your feet. Three, jump. Daddy can't hold you now. Mommy in there. Nobody's around that I can trust. I can't even see what my future look like. Now I got to give my all to God. I'm trying to give all my all to God at 17. I won't do other things at 17. I won't give my all to a little girl. Another 17 year old. One. Two. Jump. Come 
them back to you. I want all adults first. Let me deal with the kids. Because if the kid, adults don't get it, the kids can't. We got to let the adults get it. Because we try to teach kids what we're not doing ourselves. I don't even know you, but I'm so glad you came. On the count of three. You are not jumping in to the arms of a man. You're not jumping into a career. You're trusting God for your future. Everything that is uncertain, unsure, you're saying, God, you said I must live by faith. That means I have to trust you with everything. You are jumping. One. No. <laughs> she said, which direction? Just jump. Jump. Legs got to go in there. Jump. Wonderful. I like her. Find out her name. I like this lady. She's strong in faith. This ain't no woman. She ain't nothing to play with. Don't let her fool y'all. She could try to hide as much as she wants. That's a Jonah. One. She's a woman of strong faith. Once she get it, she get it, oh God. You need to get her number. This She will be a strength to the ministry. On the corner of three, Vicky, you're going to jump. One. Uh, yeah, nervous. Yeah, I know. I can't help you. I know. I know. I know. I know. You got to trust him with everything. I only could take you so far. See, people want the preachers to do everything, but we only could take you so far. Some things you got to do for you. I know. I know. I know. I know. You got to jump. One. Wait till I reach you three. Two. Jump! I know. You ain't got to if you don't want to. It's scary to trust God when my family is in. It's scary to trust God when I haven't been taught these things about faith. Jump! These people are not pretending. They are afraid. People are afraid. And they're not pretending. It's okay to be honest. Oh, yeah. Whoa. You're on the edge. I got to trust him. With, but everybody else in my family ain't going hard. They tell me I ain't got to trust God like that. And now God wants more of me. He wants all of me. I didn't know church means I got to give my all. I thought you could just go and sing and model and then go home. I know you got to go give God all. One, when I reach the three, you don't have to jump. It's scary to not know. Two, jump! You came again, good girl. Good girl. You want God? Yeah, you're on the edge. You got to jump. That means I'm not worrying about my family. I'm not worrying about my friends. I'm not going to let nobody hold me back no more. I'm not going to hold my own self back. You're going to jump on the count of three. Jump. I'm not going to feel it. One. Two. Woman of faith. Jump. Cameraman. Bishop, it's easy to hide behind the camera. I can hide behind the mic and rap. But now God's asking me to do what I've never done. Now I got to sow a 2014 seed and I can barely pay my light bill. One. Two. Two and a half. Jump. So, you're on the air. Uh, scary, isn't it? Not being sure about my future. You're on the edge. Don't move. You cannot move. If you move another step, you're going to hurt yourself. You have to jump from here. You have to leap. Meaning I have to trust God wholeheartedly. I can't trust him and say I trust him and be afraid to move. One. Two. You got to jump. Three. Jump. Oh, Lord. All the men. Turn your eyes. All the men, turn your eyes. On the count of three. You are on the edge. You are on. You are on the edge. You have to trust God with everything. On the count of three. One. Two. Again, you don't have to jump if you don't want to. But it must be a jump. I can't walk it out like some people try to walk it out and then almost hurt themselves. I have to jump. 
Jump means a hundred percent. Two. Jump. You ain't got to. You ain't got to. It's okay. Three. Jump. Last time, I gotta make way. One. Two. Three. Because uh, giant. I got you. I, I got you. It's okay. I got you. That's life, though. If you know many disappointments I've been through, yes, yeah, okay. He's trying to feel it. He's trying to feel his way. That's okay. That's all of us. Sometimes I try to feel my way. And I'm 21. On the count of three, I want you to jump. When you jump, uh-uh. Don't, mm-mm. You walk in. You got to jump. The reason why God has asked you to jump is because when you jump, God's going to show you that I'm, you're trusting me with everything even when I can't figure it out. After all the disappointments, after all the letdowns, after every time I fail, after every time I trusted someone and they broke my trust, after every time somebody told me what I couldn't do, what I couldn't be, what I wasn't good enough to do, God's going to break the lies today. When you jump, God's going to break some things off of you. One! You're jumping, you're not walking. That's right. Two! Three! Jump! Clap your hands if you can give God a prayer. You don't know what God's doing for that man. But you will know before the end month is ended. He'll never be the same. Stop. I like him. That's a strong soldier. He gets sold out. He'll be something else. But God said today's the beginning. How you feel? It's okay. Process. How you feel? A little nervous. Say it strong. A little nervous. Yeah, men get scared. Jesus sweat blood. So whatever thing, it's not, you're not less of a man to say how you really feel. How you feel? I'm nervous. Okay. One. Two. You're, you are not walking. You are jumping. You are jumping. Three. Jump! These young men are strong. You know, what, you know why God's like called the young? Because they're strong. Young people have a fearlessness. They do things without thinking. They think later. He's like, okay, let's jump. One. Two. You're jumping now. You are jumping. You're not walking. Three. Jump! Yeah, Cheryl. Praise and worship is easy, Bishop. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, scary. I know. I know. It's okay. Lord, you're telling me to trust what I can't see. I know it's okay. I know. Yeah, it's okay, Cheryl. Today's your day of breakthrough. It's okay to cry. Ain't nothing wrong with crying for any woman in here. And men. One. You are jumping. I will not think less of you if you don't jump. And really, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what God thinks. We got to get there. You are jumping, Cheryl. You're not walking. You're not trying to figure everything out. You know, trying to understand everything. I know. One. Two, Enoch. Three, jump. Jump. You was on the edge. How you feel? Uncertain, apprehension. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay to feel like that. Slowly. Bishop, you know all the things I've been through before I came to this church. I'm tired of getting hurt. I'll give 51, but I won't give 100. I'm waiting for somebody to do something to hurt me. I knew that was them all the time. One. When I reach the three, jump. Oh, I got to make way. Two. It's up to you, though. You're in. Three. Jump. I saw that hesitation, too, Sean. You felt. You're supposed to jump. You're supposed to feel. Stop. You are not feeling. You are jumping. One. No, you can't pee. No, no way. We can't think about it. We can't reason. Two. Jump. Some things you got to walk through alone. 
some of these teenagers got to learn some things for themselves. They ain't got to help mommy or daddy. Because mommy or daddy ain't going to be there when that boy trying to rap to her. One! God, I got to trust you all the way. As a teenager, you're jumping. Two! Jump! Scary, huh? Again, you ain't got to jump. You're, oh, yeah, I know. You ain't got to jump. Stop. Oh, you're on the edge. One more stop. You jump from here. You got to jump. You can't walk it out. You have to jump. One. Two. Jump! You have to jump. She tried to walk it out. You have to jump from here. Scared? Not yet. Not yet. Scared, aren't you? Should I come to church today? Maybe I should have stayed home today. <laughs> this should have been the day I stayed home. One. You don't have to jump. Two. You are jumping. I'm believing God for my brother. Can God save him and deliver him? On the count of three. One. You're jumping. You're not walking. Jump! many churches I've been through, how many hurts I've taken, do you know many disappointments I had, how many relationships men scarred me, now I have to let go and let God, now you telling me preacher to do what I've never done before, it's okay girl, yeah I know, God's healing you, let him do it, let God do it, what you feeling is God, that's okay, let God do it, I know, I know, I know, I know, on the count of three, let him do it, you must jump, God said everything, one, you got to jump. If you walk, you're going to hurt yourself. Two. Jump! You are on the edge. You are on the edge. You don't have to jump. One. Two. Jump! Did she make it? By barely. Say, boy, say, thank you, Jesus. Keep your eye closed. You got to jump. You got to jump. You can't walk it out. You got to jump. You got to make a leap of faith. That means knees got to go in the air. I got to leap. One. Two. No kids. No kids. No kids. Twelve and under, no. Thirteen and up, yeah. One. Two. Three. Jump. Oh Lord, where's her husband? Where's her husband? His oh, his back. Come here, back. Come here, back. Come here, back. What happened to your back? You had surgery. When? Oh, he could see. Go back to your seat. You, somebody should have put blind fails on him. Listen, when you walk by faith, him jumping could bring his healing. If God's calling for it, healing is in the house. Y'all can't, y'all gotta. How you feel? Tell me the truth. I feel good. Oh, you do? Oh, I like that faith. You're on the edge. Ooh, ooh you're on the edge. Uh-uh, don't step back. Right there. Go another feet, the next feet. Oh. You got to jump. You got to jump. You got to jump. One. My daughters, my children, my money, my future, my destiny. Two. Jump! One, two, how old are you? Sixteen. Sixteen. Unsure about your future, one boyfriend, boys calling, but God say trust him with everything. One, two, jump. Oh, Lord. 
Bishop, I'm JB's sister. I didn't know all this jumping going on. I would have stayed in Daytona. I didn't know I would have come here today and have to jump. So I didn't know churches be like this. I thought you go here to preach and then go home. You make us jump. One, you got to jump. You cannot walk. Just how you moved to Orlando, now you got to jump. Jump! Yeah, I know. You ain't got to if you don't want to. You can't see. That's life. It's okay. That's life. If I'm going to trust him, I got to trust him all the way. You got to jump now. Jump! One. Are you ready? How you feel? I'm scared. You scared? You can't walk it out. You got to jump. Two. You can't walk it out or you're going to hurt yourself. Jump. Oh, my friend. Mighty man of God. You got to jump today. You got to give God everything. One. You don't have to if you don't want to. Two. Three. Jump. Oh, my friend. Take off your shoes. Don't look though. You can't peek. Take off your shoes. We want you to land on your feet. When you jump, you're jumping, standing up. One. Take your take, come off. It's okay, we got you. But I can let you go in a minute. Two. Jump! How does it feel? How do you feel? Oh, excited. Oh. Excited? I like that. One, it's okay, God's healing. Let him take your time. Let God do it. She good. Two, you are jumping. You are not, you got to wait till I say three. One, forward, and you're jumping. You ain't dragging, you're jumping. Two, jump. I don't know if I should be doing all this jumping at 16. How old are you? 16. 16. I got to jump? One. You ain't, you are jumping. You ain't trying to peek. You are jumping. Two. You are jumping. I mean, I pick it up my knees and I'm jumping. Three. Jump. What a jump. He just broke the whole stage. You get to go behind the one that broke the whole stage. One. Two. You just, yeah, scary. You know what she say? Chest jump. Scary, isn't it? Three. Jump. All or nothing, Chris. God or nothing at all. One, you don't have the jump. Total abandonment. Two, you had a jump. Three! How do I trust God when my kids are not here and there's things that I want? How do I got to keep trusting God when my family ain't here? How do I keep trusting God when things are not happening as quickly as I would like it? One, I hope you ain't peeking. Are you peeking? Did you open your eyes and peek? Did you peek? Did you open your eyes and peek? Two, you got to jump. You got to jump. Jump! so glad oh lord look at you i'm glad to see you Hi. take your time 
take your time. Don't ah, right there, right there. Don't go no further. From here, you are the edge. You how to jump. Total abandonment. One. Two. Jump! Get up, get up. Shit, you all right. Them legs holding up. Power, power, power to them legs. Watch her, watch her. Hold her, hold her, hold her, hold her. Hold her, y'all be with her. Hold her teeth. Whoa, whoa, go, go ahead, jump up. How do you feel? I'm okay. You feel okay? I like you. One. You can't, uh-uh, you can't, you gotta jump. Future, destiny, marriage, children, home, car, everything or nothing. One. Yeah, yeah, she feeling it. Two. Jump. You ain't got to. Uh-uh, you're trying to feel it. You're trying to be sure. You got to trust the God that you don't see. That's what faith is. If I got that much faith, I'm, I'm at the beginning. One. Two. I got to jump, Bishop. Three. Jump. Oh, yeah. Beauty salon. Bishop, I could see the money I give. But I can't see nothing now. I don't know who to trust now. You telling me to jump? I don't know, but all this jump in. One. Two. You're a woman of faith too. The Lord just said that to me. Three. Jump. This one nervous, y'all. It's okay. You meet 99% of the criteria in this room today. Right there. You're on the edge. One. Two. Men, turn your eyes. Close your eyes. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. Three. Jump. Good girl. You peek. Did you peek at all? You have to jump, Robbie. One. You all right. You got to jump. Three. Jump. It's okay, Miss Beverly. I know you. I know you. I know you're nervous. I know. It's okay. I know. You're jumping the best you can, Miss Beverly. Stop right there. You're on the edge. Move the next. From here. You must jump. Miss Beverly, from here, you must jump. You have to jump from here. One, two, jump! Take your time. Take it. Let it take your time. From here, big boy, you must jump. Come on, one more. Take it uh, right there. You have the leap from here. One, two, jump. Oh, my friend in the bank. Come here. This is my friend from the bank, y'all, who came to service and sold a sacrificial gift. And she said, how do I know it's you? Because I know, I don't forget. Saw me and came to service, sold a gift, and was in the bank, Natalie. Hear this. And when she saw me in the bank, she said, since you I came and I blessed that church. She said, God has blessed me financially. I'm now driving my own car. Clap your hands for her. She gave God the glory for her blessing. Now, God is saying, I require more of you. It's okay to be nervous. One more step. Just a little bit. One more. I know it's you. How do you know this me? <laughs> I haven't even been here in a long time. I know God knows you. God knows your name. From here you must jump. You got to jump. One. Two. 
Jump! Three, go! Scary, isn't it? How you feeling? Okay. You're, one, you got to jump, soldier. You in the U.S. Army? God enlisted you first. Two! Three, jump! Oh, come here. This one got her arms folded. No, you got to open up, honey. One! Mama can't help you with this one. You got to jump. Two! Three, jump! It's okay, it's okay. God's healing her. Somebody in the room that know how to pray, point your hands up here. God is healing her. God is healing her. She's scared, but God said, trust him. The Lord says too that you are not forgotten. The Lord says others have counted you out, but God said, I haven't counted you out. You're going to come to know the Lord. When you come, you're going to come with power. God said, you never was ordinary. You always was extraordinary. God said, I'm going to do extraordinary things through you. You watch before it's all finished. But from this point, you must jump. One. I know. Let it go. Let it go. You're holding on to things. Let it go. Let go of all the disappointment. Let it go. I know, 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 I know. Come, 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 somebody, come, come, come. Come, come, come up here. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And she ain't jump yet. I know. Come here, come here, come here. I'm hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, she gotta jump. I need you to jump. Keep going. Let God do what he's doing. Don't worry about your shoes. Let God do what he's doing. From this point, I need you to jump. When I count to three, just jump. Go for it. One. Two, three, jump! Clap your hand if you're in the building and believe God. I want to be an actor. I can act. I can write plays. It's okay. God's healing her. God's healing her. Somebody put your hands on her heart. Put your hands on her heart, Melissa. Put your hands on her heart. Feel the heartbeat. Let God heal that heart. That heart's been through some things. You, the heartbeat, Melissa. Right on the heart, yeah. The heartbeat, help her, help her, help her, help her. She could let God minister, help her, help her, help her, help her. Stay with her, help her. You are jumping on the count of three one, two, today, three, jump. How does it feel? How you feel? Good. You feel good? One. You have to take the leap. Uh-uh. You can't feel for nothing. Two. You have to leap. Three. Jump! It has to be a big jump. If it's not a big jump, you'll hurt yourself. Jump! Yeah. Remember he said he was okay? Fate is not as easy as it looks. One. Two. Jump! How you feeling? How you feeling? I'm feeling nervous. You feel nervous? You ain't got to jump. Keep your eye closed. One. How you feeling? Say how you feel. Two. Jump. Big jump. Mama in here, brother in here, sister in here. I got to trust God with all my heart. On the count of three. I got to trust God. I got to trust God. I got to trust God with all my heart. One. How old are you? Seventeen. How old are you? Seventeen. I want you to take the biggest jump of your life. Two. Bishop, is this what it means to trust God when I can't see? Yes. When everything going wrong, when no daddy there, when everybody hurt me, when people lie on me. Is this what it means to trust God? Close your eye. When I count to three, you got to jump. Two. Take the biggest leap of your life. Three. Jump. How you feeling? Good. You ready? You don't have to jump. You don't know what's down there. One. Two. Ch 
Christian. How you feeling? Fine. Are you peeking? No. You had to jump. The direction of your finger. One. No. <laughs> Two. Jump. Up and down. How old are you? Fifteen. How old are you? Fifteen. Are you too young to serve God? No. Can you serve God with all your heart at fifteen? Yes, sir. One. When I reach your three, you got to take the jump of your life. The jump of your life. Two. Three. Where's your mama? Where's your daddy? Okay, one. Get ready to take the leap of your life. Can you see? Are you peeking? You got to jump high. Two. You got to jump. How you feeling? Scared. I was excited to jump, but now I'm scared. Now you scared? You got to jump. Nobody could hold you now. It got to be a big jump. Can't be no uh-uh. You're trying to feel your way. You got to jump from where you are. Jump! Everybody on your feet. That was my sermon for the day. Lift your hands. Keep your hand raised wherever you are. God is requiring us to walk by faith. And not by sight. Some of us, we talk a good game, but we don't walk it. When them blindfolds were on, it became scary. When you could not see where you was going, you was afraid to move. But God requires us to move when we cannot see. When we don't know what tomorrow holds, when we don't know our future holds, God is saying, still trust me. Will you still leap? Every eye closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that what every person experience by their leap today, that your Holy Spirit will bring the increase. As every hand raise, every eye close. I want everybody in here today to sow your best seed. And then I want somebody to sow a seed of $24. The Lord showed me in a dream to do this service and he showed me the number 24. He showed me the number 24. So I know today whoever is an obedient and do what God says, you can expect breakthrough. I know today that God is shifting Jump Ministries Global Church. I need everybody all over the room to be on their feet. I know today those who leap, your faith just went to the next level. Because you just proved to yourself you did not know what was beneath you, but you still leaped. You were not sure if you would land, but you still leap. You heard people laughing, but you kept your eyes closed and you still leap. That means I have what it takes to move even when I'm unsure. That means when I leave here today, I have no more excuse not to move by faith. As long as I trust God, He will always make sure my landing is safe. And for those who did not land quite as safe, sometime in faith, you take some bruise. But that doesn't mean you stop moving by faith. Sometime in faith, your feet take a wrong step. It slips. But that doesn't mean you don't stop moving by faith. For those who have here, that means no matter what life throws at you, and it hurts, you got disappointed by things that happened because you thought you were moving by faith. God says, don't let life stop you from living by faith. Because he said, without faith, it is impossible to please him. If my wife was not pregnant, she would be the first one in line. She only escaped this line because she brightened it. So let her laugh if she may. But the day will come that I will do this again. 
and she will not be pregnant. And maybe the mat may be a little lower and the fall may not be as short. But will she still trust him? Eyes closed. I want every heart to prepare in this room to give. If you love him, take a step. You know what? I believe you. If you love him again, take a step. You know what? I believe you. Every eye closed. If you love him again, take a step. You know what? I believe you. If you love him again, take a step. You know what? God believes you. Because love isn't what you say. Love is what you do. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. I want everybody to get an envelope. Hands still raised. Pass the envelopes up. Nobody move. Stay right where you are. Somebody's going to bring you an envelope. Quickly, stay right where you are. I want you to put an envelope in every hand. Put an envelope in every hand. And today everybody give a seed with two, four in it. Whether 240, 2040, according to your fate, 24. But nobody in this room moved today without putting the number 24 on it. Who does? Nobody moves without putting the number 24 on it. Somebody's going to come around quickly. I wish my niece was in this room. Please give them an envelope. Nobody else is jumping. Jump, jump over for the day. Jump is finished jumping. Hand raise, eyes close. Somebody's going to put an envelope. I want you to put your best seed in it. Today, you learn today that you could do anything if you trust God. If you learn nothing today, you learn you didn't know what you was going to jump on except you lied and you did peek. But for those of you that was completely honest and kept your eyes closed with that blindfold on and jumped, you proved today you could do whatever you choose if you trust God. Hallelujah. Whoever said hallelujah heard me. You proved my sermon today that I can do anything I choose if I just jump. Bishop can't make me jump. I have to hear him and then I got to jump. Even when I'm unsure, have hand raised. Speak Holy Ghost. Speak Holy Ghost. Speak Holy Ghost. Go back to your seats. Us just get ready. If you would like to give and I have nothing to give, let's close the doors. Come to the front. I want to give, but I have nothing to give. No more jumping today. Miss Celine, come here. I'm going to call some people to come up here real quick. Tisha, come. Mama Della, come. JB, come. While the offer is being taken up, come quickly, come quickly. We got to go home. While the offer is being taken up, everybody gets an envelope. Everybody gets an envelope. Ashes, if you haven't put an envelope in somebody's hand, you missed. Mussolini, why, what did you feel or sense or learn while you jump? Be honest with people. Okay, I'm going to be honest. I told uh, Minister Curtis, I said, there's something wrong with me. And he said, why do you say that? I said, because I wasn't afraid. But I'm just going to be honest with you. I wasn't afraid because I wanted to make sure Dr. Hepburn was still close by me. <laughs> and I could hear his voice. And he said, stop touching me. And that was fine, because I knew he could move as quickly, you know. So, yes, I, was, I wasn't afraid because I knew he was here. And I knew he wasn't going to let anything happen to me. Amen, amen. You're right about it, Miss Celine. Um, I, I was really nervous, but I was willing to do it because I honestly, I know that God has me, but... I also knew it, God is someone I can't see, but I knew Bishop was standing beside me, and I knew that I could trust what he told me to do. So I jumped, and when I did jump, I jumped because I, I definitely know that 
I honestly felt in my heart that Bishop wouldn't ask, tell me to do something or ask me to do something that would harm me. Oh, very good. I like that. I mean, bring my wife. Well, I have to. No, I'm keeping it real. I was so, okay, so when he told us to turn around, first I had an attitude because I'm thinking, dang, I want to see. And so then when he told us to, um, told him to put the blindfolds on, I was kind of hoping I can kind of see like a little bit underneath. So I was kind of going like that. And then I was like, then he said, if you look, then you're going to ruin it. And I was like, Lord, okay. And so then he like called me out and was like, some of y'all just really want to see y'all real nose. I ain't saying Tisha, but I'm thinking now that's Tisha. And so, and so then when Elder Plummer, he um, was pulling me up and I was thinking, Lord, geez, I don't even know how many stairs we have over here. Like, you know, just try, trying to feel my way through. So I got on the stairs and I got really afraid and I was really, so I'm thinking to myself, okay, so he's telling everybody ahead of me to jump. So like, is it going to be like a thing where you got to roll down or like, do you like kind of, you know what I'm saying? Like jump a little bit to the side or like, how am I going to fall? Am I going to fall? You know, who's going to catch me? And I was so afraid. And then when you said, um, Then when you say it, then you trust your bishop, and then you trust God, and then you, it's like it made me, like, think. It really made me think, like, do I trust my bishop, and do I trust my God? And then I just really, when you said it, I was thinking, bishop's not going to let nothing happen to me. You know, like, I, he's not going to let nothing happen if I fall, then I'm going to fall, but something's going to, somebody's going to catch me. And then when you said my mom she broke her leg or something and I was just like God I was here first so I gotta go that's literally what I was thinking like I really I, I just gotta go and that's when I jumped and I was so happy that this mat was right here <laughs> and I it, but it really um it really did honestly take my faith to another yeah, level it really, did, it, really it really like it's like how I felt like when I first 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 came like that like wow like this is the realness it of is. it Today was an example for me of why, when I came to this church 10 years ago, why I knew that God loved me, because he didn't want me to just come and hear a word, but he brought me to a church where it's being demonstrated. And I wonder how many churches just in Central Florida alone today were able to demonstrate the word. How many were preached to? but how many actually came up and was able to demonstrate the word of God. So this morning for me, it was like God giving me a, a kick in the butt. Like, don't forget this is what this is about. Because sometimes you can get comfortable in your walk and hide behind things. Like Bishop was saying, you can hide behind the mic or hide behind the sound or whatever. But when you truly got to step out on faith, that's, what, that's when the true, the true, what you've learned and what you know about God comes out. So I thank God for this word today. Well, I was, I was trying to, <laughs> I was like really hoping there was a bunch of people down there ready to catch me. But I said, even if it isn't, I'm going to jump anyway, because I've done crazier things in the world. So I just dove head first. But after I got up, the Lord showed me that we a lot of us, we were stuck. He showed me like three levels of faith. There's the spiritual level where we get exposed to faith, like in church, and we first learned about it. There's the mental level where we begin to contemplate what faith is going to cost us. Because it, it will cost you something. But that's where a lot of us got stuck. That's why we didn't want to jump. But the most powerful and the most important level of faith is the physical, where you actually had to do something. And that's where, that's what this church was lacking. A lot of us never operated in the physical faith. And God said, in, in you, especially you, he's talking to me, especially you got to operate in physical faith because you have physical needs. So if you don't, if this is not a way of life for you, you are in trouble. So today, I said, physical is the way I got to go. My 
wife had no idea about none of this. In fact, the only two person knew about this was Plumber. Odise didn't even know, so that's Plumber. Shanda didn't know. She bought the blindfold, but had no clue what she was buying it for. So only Plumber knew about what was happening today. Nobody else in this church knew. I want my wife to say what she thought about all this sitting there. What were you thinking? Just talk from your heart. What were you feeling, seeing? What, you, what were you thinking? I'm thinking how amazing all of you are just to really be obedient and move, but um, I did not know. <laughs> I had no clue or an idea that this was what Bishop was doing on Sunday. I know, though, since being here and being married to him, that he doesn't do anything by chance, and it's always been led by, by the Holy Ghost and by God and what he wants to bring out of us. So I am just simply amazed to see the amount of people that moved and I, I, a gazillion things were going through my mind, but really, really, I thought about, first of all, I really did not think he would let me go. I thought he was really going to let me do it. So I'm, you know, <laughs> we, so I'm thinking, I was thinking, okay, well, they did that, they did that, and it's pretty close, figuring out my, my way of doing it. So um, I was thinking that the first part, but then at least I say she didn't have to do it. So I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> But I was like, I, it, would, I wouldn't have had to do it too because she's pregnant and plus she already saw it. Right. So she would, I she did. Would, I did. That disqualified. It, it really did because half of you took my, you know, my bravery and my fear out by watching all of you, which was amazing. But, but overall, it made me think about me, my walk, my faith and walk. And, and when you were saying, you know, what are you thinking? What, what, what does this make you feel? All I thought about was like, this is exactly how I felt when I came. I felt completely blindfolded, you know, in my beginning walk, my stages and how brave I was. In the beginning, I was literally blind coming into this walk and being here in front of you all. And, um, but it doesn't stop. That's one thing I, I, I think it, it came to my mind is that faith doesn't stop. We don't stop growing in faith. And throughout our walk, there are so many things that will happen that will just stop us. And we think we got the faith down, but we don't. And this was a, a full demonstration live. I can't wait for this to go on, for people to see that this is us, live flesh moving and walking do we believe or not and they did you all did i watched some of you made me just you know my eyes were welling up up there i see things being broken off and i pray that you receive you know this this may seem silly or theatrical whatever it is but this is god we thank god for for just being alive in jump ministries and for putting in bishop's heart to make us move we don't just come in and hear the word but and you all did it. <laughs> I sat there. I am amazed that you all did it. You moved. Visitors, I was thinking about when I first came here, if you did this, and when I'm See, first the came, the baby, the guy holding the baby came. a couple of people yeah, I've never, I am so proud of you all for doing it because I don't think I could do it, you know, when I first came. Are you preaching, honey? I, I am. I'm Listen, so excited. I also want to say, too, that even though faith goes from glory to glory, which it does, it does grow. But what happens is the next time they're faced with something where their faith will be challenged, they have an opportunity to remember this demonstration, which will cause their faith to grow. Clap your hand and give God a praise. Curtis, come here, Curtis. That's just yawn. Curtis, what were you feeling? Keep it real. Because you were like, ah! You were the most dramatic, Curtis. <laughs> Keep it real. I was, I was nervous. I was really nervous because I got a baby coming on the way, you know. And I didn't know, I didn't know, because I, I really thought that we were gonna jump way to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> really to the bottom, and I wasn't really with all that. And then for a minute, I was like, Nah, I ain't gonna do this. You know, I'm gonna still come to the ministry after this, but I don't know about all this. <laughs> that's what I had, you know, that's what I had said in my mind. He was like, lead us first. I'm like, yeah, hey, you know, it's about time to resign. <laughs> about that time. But I knew if he had us come in here that God had us. And when, what, I, I say this, this is what built my faith in Bishop. He confirmed it. When I heard other people make it, I said, I can make it. When I heard, when I heard, you know, I ain't gonna lie. When I heard the women make it, oh, I got this. <laughs> Thank you. Amen. Let's stand on our feet. May you never be the same in the area of faith. Let me say this. Faith is the most important thing you could ever have in your life. 
Today's message is the foundation of Christendom. Today, what we did today is the foundation. Because without faith, you can't please God. If you have an envelope in your hand, lift it in the air. Lift it in the air. Write on your envelopes today, it's done. If you're looking to write, write, it's done. If you ain't write nothing, it's all right. God says it's done. The group. Come, group. Come, group. Y'all, come here. Three, y'all, come here. Come here, group. Say it again. Triumphant music. Come here, triumphant. Y'all are triumphant. Come here, the three, y'all come. Y'all give us some words of what y'all thought about today. Keep it real. I know you're looking at me like, Lord, this man, you, come on, keep it real. Say something about today. Just come into this service for the first time. Praise God. Um, I was truly encouraged. Um, the demonstration in itself uh, gave me um, something practical that I can take with me. Um, and just seeing how God will put people around you um, that will challenge you to do things. Um, and we just have to be certain that if God put these people in our lives, it's for a reason. And it's definitely not to harm us. Not be easy, but it won't kill us. So, God bless. Good morning. Praise God. Uh, first and foremost, I want to say uh, what an honor and privilege it was to fellowship with you all on today. And thank you for your invitation and embracing us as we uh, turned up and went crazy. Um, as far as the, uh, the message and the demonstration, uh, I think it really uh, gives us an important lesson how in the world we know of this thing called peer pressure and, and the connotation is is that it's usually a negative peer pressure but I thank God for the community of faith this through this demonstration um, Curtis kind of even mentioned it that he knew that after other people went uh, it was important he, had, he felt the pressure to go himself and as a community of faith that's what we are called to do is to to pressure one another um, to seek God's face and follow him in all that we do. Um, I just want to second what my brother said, it's just about um, it being a pleasure to be here and fellowship with y'all. It just felt so much like home, you know, even the dancing and everything. I was I was up there, I was like, man, I love this. So, um, I mean, it was it was powerful for me. Me and me and Philo kind of said the same thing back and forth like three or four times. Like, man, this is powerful. Uh, when when the brother said to actually see what what what's going on in the spiritual being demonstrated so tangibly here, you know, when God calls us to uh, step into different arenas where um, we are unequipped or we feel incapable personally, um, but that God says, "Go ahead, you know, do it, and I'm going to be with you." So to see that and. Uh, just for where I'm at in my life personally, um, you know, I, it ministered to me uh, just to continue to walk and, and to believe God even when I don't see uh, what's in front of me, to know that he got me. Y'all see on the say, clap your hands for them, man. If you got an envelope in your hand, lift it in the air. Let's bring our menorah on the stage. Let's light our candle. Let's move up our jumper. Let's clap our hands for Deacon Plummer, Elder Plummer, put this together. He got this bed for us. Let's clap our hands for his service. Come on, y'all. Give him a round of applause for his obedience. That's all y'all got. I'd never want y'all to clap for me. If you have an envelope in your hand, lift it in the air. We got people in their seats with envelopes screaming that y'all come get the envelope. Ushers, Devin, go help the folks with the envelopes in their hand. Bring them up. Don't worry about that. Owen could fix that before he leaves. Owen and Plummer could fix that. Amen. That's all right. So we thank God. Who we thank? Who we thank? How many of your faith was strengthened today? Good. How many of your faith was encouraged today? How many of you feel like you could run a little bit harder? How many of you feel like you could run a little bit faster? Amen. Honey, bring me that.
Can God? Will God? Bring it right here. Somebody say, God, do exceedingly and abundantly above all that I ask or think. For our visitors that are here today, you're wondering why we're we spraying this. We're not working witchcraft, voodoo, or no hoodoo. All we're saying to God is, God, let this offering be a sweet smell to you. It's just symbolic to say, God, let it be a sweet smell to you. That's all we're saying is, let our gift not be a strange smell, but let it come before you with a sweet smell. Because we know whatever God honors is blessed. And we know whatever God dishonors is cursed. How many of you want God to honor your gift? And if you're here today and you're wondering what these shoes are, these are people in the room that gave, don't have money that gave shoes. And so what they do, if they don't have money, they recognize, I always have something to give visitors. So they brought shoes. So what they did was they said, God, this is my offering. So we're even going to spray this. Put it over the menorah that this would be a sweet smell to God. Whoever gave these shoes, come. And what size are these shoes? All men size 11 come in the middle that would like to get blessed with shoes. Men size 11. Does any of the men on the stage wear 11? Does any of the men on the stage wear 11? Does any of the men on the stage wear 11? Okay, hallelujah. All men 11. If you come in the front, Chris, maybe it could be you. Like if you make a move of faith that I just demonstrated. All men 11. All men 11. Give one pair to one and then give one pair to the other. Go, whoever God tell you to sow it to. One pair to one and then give one pair to the other. Take your shoe, boy. Be blessed. Oh, Lord. Clap your hand and give God a praise. Walking in the new. Point your hands up here, somebody. Father, honor this gift. I pray, God, that you sanctify the seed. The young man in the orange way in the back, stand in the middle, in the orange, like, right there. Yep, you, right in the middle, right in the middle of that, the, 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 right in the middle. Right in the middle. The Lord says to tell you that you are going to write songs. Raise your hands. And the Lord says, I'm not, God says, other people will, God says, don't put limits on him for other people will also sing the songs you write. For the Lord said, there is a writer on the inside of you, saith God. And the Lord said, don't be afraid to enlarge. Don't be afraid to expand. You can look at me because you've gone all the way in. Give me an eyeball. Reach a little higher. Like you under rest. Amen. The Lord said, don't be afraid to enlarge. Don't be afraid to take leaps of faith, said the Lord. The Lord said this word today. God said it was not by chance that you were here. For God says, I want to enlarge your territory. I want to expand your borders. So the Lord says to say to you, start thinking out of the box, say the Lord. And the Lord says, Deva kunde vadisu mama do deve I say. The Lord says also to tell you not to be afraid to go in non-traditional settings. So that means even if you invited, now this can think it may take you to go to a secular concert and to minister the Lord says go and the Lord said even in that area God said I will cause you to make an impact say the Lord so the Lord said don't limit me just to the four walls say the Lord the Lord said I will open doors for you God said in unexpected places he said if you keep me first there's nothing that I won't do God said there's nothing that you will ask that I won't give you say the Lord but God says that the criteria is to keep me first and God says when strange women try to pull on you from the left and the right God said preserve yourself for where I want to take you for the Lord said I will raise you up as prophets in this nation said the Lord and the Lord said as you be faithful God said I will open the door internationally and the Lord said you will travel to places like the Bahamas you will travel to places like Africa so the Lord said look even for doors to be open internationally internationally in the days and the months and the weeks to come and the Lord said if you're not afraid I'm not afraid and the Lord said, if you're willing to go, I'll send you. Take another, take a step, sir. Hold your head up. Hold your head up. God said, if you're willing to go, I'll send you. Take another step. And the Lord said, I'm going to provide in the area of finances. I'm going to provide for you financially because you got a lot of uh, ideas, but it's the money. It's the money. The Lord said, move by faith. God said, it's not according to the natural checkbook. It's according to my checkbook. And God said, heaven is not short. God said, I will meet every need. As you move, God said, I will meet the need. 
It's important for you to stay plugged into a local ministry, into a local church, and submit it properly. Who's a rapper that goes to Creflo Dollars Church? Kenton Jones. Kenton Jones. Kenton Jones. I see your ministry and what God's about to do in and through y'all to be a lot like Kenton Jones. We're being covered and properly is so important to where God wants to take you in the future. Somebody say in the name of Jesus. Clap your hand and give God a praise. And the Lord said what he does for him, God said I'm going to do for the three of you. Bigger and better doors. Say bigger. Y'all believe that? And better doors. You trust your dreams. You're, you have a, you have a, you're a seer. Trust your visions. Trust your dreams. You're a seer. Write them down. Even when you don't understand it. When God visits you on the bedtime, write them down. Put it because God can show you some things and reveal some things to you. Lift your hands to heaven. Let's go home. Can we go home, y'all? Three, y'all. Even if you didn't say yes, he was going home. Lift your hand higher. Father, I plead the blood of Jesus over this house. Everybody take a step of faith. Say, no more holding back. Take another step. Say, no more holding back. Say, devil, game on. Say it in a minute. Say, devil, game on. Call your own name. Say, game on. Call your own name. Say, game on. Call your own name. Say, game on. Say, I'm in it to win it. Say it in a minute. Say, I'm in it to win it. No more holding back. If you will lift your hands to heaven, take a step. Father, today in the name of Jesus, let your Holy Spirit cause this word, this demonstration to marinate. Destroy every lie and every plan of the devil. Satan, you will not rob this seed. For this seed will germinate. In the name of Jesus, bear fruit 60-fold, 1,000-fold, 100-fold. If you believe that, give God a clap. Give God a clap offering. If you believe that, give God a clap offering. If you believe that, give God a clap offering. Say hallelujah. Grab somebody neck. Let them know you love her. Shanda, come and see me. Be blessed. Don't leave yet. We got something for you all.